Miss Blythe was hoping to form a musical band with Millie and Molly's class, but it wasn't going well. I don't think this triangle's very good, Miss Blythe. Gee, this is broken too. And the drum. Oh, heavens. Is it supposed to do that? Oh, dear me, no. Are there not any instruments that work? <laughs> that sounds like a sick beast. <laughs> yeah, it's a giant dinosaur from outer space. <laughs> Nothing on this earth could make that noise. <laughs> but we can't have a class band with these. The school gala day is coming up. We could have a stall, raise money, and buy the school some new instruments. Yeah. Yay! Right, so what will we sell in our stall? Oh, I know! No, Humphrey, we're not selling dynamite. Oh. The class didn't take long to come up with something they could all try to make. Dad, Dad, we're going to make shirts for Mum, do you have any material? Where's my money box? Is there anything in it? Nan, I need something to make a shirt with. Nan, do we have something? Soon, people began to make shirts for the gala day stall. Millie and Molly had combined their pocket money and bought one big piece of material to make two shirts. Ta-da! I've already cut out my shirt! Is it for someone from outer space, Humphrey? No. Why? It seems to have three arms. <laughs> oh, I meant to do that! <laughs> no laughing now, everyone. It's hard to get it right first time. Have another go, Humphrey. I'll make something with everyone's mistakes and offcuts. What will you make, Miss Blythe? You'll have to help me decide. It could be a mystery prize. We could sell tickets. Indeed, we could. It'll be a raffle, and whoever wins will get the surprise I make. Yeah! But not everyone was joining in the shirt making. Where's your shirt material, Alf? Don't have any. But the more shirts we sell, the more new instruments we get. But my nan doesn't have any spare material. Can't you buy any? I haven't got any money. Nan, neither. Oh. So Millie took Alf to see Mr Limpy, who paid him to do some jobs. And Millie sold Mr Limpy raffle tickets too. Mr Limpy? Yes, Millie? Would you like to buy some tickets for our mystery prize? Yes, certainly. And Molly took Alf to see the bookshop owner so he could earn some more money. And while she was there, she sold more tickets for the mystery prize. And together, Millie and Molly even took Alf to see snippy Aunt Maud and tried to sell her raffle tickets. Yes, yes, what is it? Even though Aunt Maud wasn't particularly fond of musical instruments. Musical instruments? Or class bands. Class bands? Molly, I've got all the money in my hanky. Bye, Alf. Finally, Alf had enough money to buy material to make a shirt for the gala day store. Millie and Molly thought that everything would be fine. Everyone would make a shirt and the class would raise enough money to buy new instruments. But when Alf got home, things weren't quite so fine. It's only soup tonight, Alf. I broke the false teeth. Can't eat hard food till I can afford to fix it. You can fix them tomorrow. But that money is for your shirt making. It's not important. You're a good boy, Alf. The next day, Millie and Molly were surprised at Alf's news. She needed the money more than me. She couldn't eat. She's my lovely nan. I know, but how will you get material to make a shirt? My nan will find a way. How? She always finds a way. She makes food by growing vegetables. And she makes delicious dinners from leftovers. And she never throws anything away. And, and one day, she's even going to find a way to take me to the big city where her sister lives that she hasn't seen for years and years. You'll see. I hope so, Al. See, I did it. Two sleeves. Well done, Humphrey. Now all you have to do is make sure both sleeves are the same length. Easy. Here, Alf. I have 
material for you for shirt making. Oh, thanks, Nan. I knew you'd find a way. Where did you get it? Her quilt? But how will she stay warm in her bed? She says it's summer. She doesn't need it. Gala day's at the end of this week. But what about when winter comes? We'll worry about the quilt when winter comes. Nan will find a way. I need to start my shirt. But Millie and Molly were worried about Nan not having a quilt now. And by the time I shorten one side too much, and then the other side too much, and well soon, I didn't have any sleeves at all. That's fine, Humphrey. It'll be a special Humphrey made sleeveless shirt then. Someone will love it. Yeah, right. Now it needs some buttons and a collar. Off you go. This is dumb. Miss Blythe, can we talk to you please? About Alf's Nan? Let's talk about Alf's Nan while the others are at lunch. And so we're worried. Making shirts and getting new instruments doesn't seem as important as Alf's Nan being warm enough at night. I think you're right, Molly. And she doesn't even have enough money to see her sister, who she hasn't seen for years and years. So what can we do to help? I've got an idea. We both do. Very good. Let's hear it. Well, you know the raffle. Yes. Well, Molly and I... The end of the week came quickly and Gala Day was upon them. From the start, the class stall went well, selling the colourful shirts fast. Thank you. Oh, I like that. Try it on. Jack made that one. I think it'll fit, Dad. Looks good. Are you sure? There's something funny about it. No sleeves. But I like it. Yeah, I know it doesn't have sleeves, but I like it. Makes me look kind of like a punk rock star. Yeah! <laughs> I made that shirt on purpose! So! Look, Nan, the very man's wearing the shirt that I made. It was the first one to be sold. Well done, Al. Thank you. That's all the raffle tickets sold, Miss Blythe, and here's the money for the last show. Well, that's a very fine job, everyone. Well done. Time to draw the raffle, then. Oh. May I have your attention, Lee? Sorry, sorry, sorry about that. Well, it's time to draw the raffle. And I'd like to thank everyone who bought a shirt. I'm sure you'll agree the class have done a great job making them. Right, Millie, would you please plunge your hand into the tickets and pull out the winner of the surprise raffle? And the winner is... The winner is... Elf You won, man! You won! But I... Bring out the prize for Elf Snan, please. The shirts the class made. It's even stuffed with downs collected by the generous people in Crowd to my class. Oh, well, Congratulations. This is very nice, but I cannot take it. I didn't buy some raffle tickets. I have no money for such things. But it has your name on the ticket. It does? Uh, yes. <laughs> They all got my name on them. Oh, you found this out, I'm afraid. The class, in fact, everyone who bought a ticket, well, we thought you should have it. I, Daddy. Thank you. Well, <clears throat> we just thought. It's only a quilt, not as good as my shirt. <laughs> 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 this should keep you warm. Thank you. Oh, and one more thing. 
We've decided not to buy instruments with the money we've made from the stall. We think the money should be used for something more important. Thank you! Alf and his Nan were off to the big city to see the sister Nan hadn't seen for years and years. And as for the class band and their instruments, well, they just had to make do. Ready? One, two, three, four! Mm-hmm. <laughs>